Guys, what's going on? James here, and in today's video, we're going to be seeing how much money we can make over the next 24 hours trading Bitcoin and other altcoins. Now, I have never really actively traded before. It's not what I do. I generally invest in the stock market. I got stung in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency back in 2017, I think. I ran an account from like two grand all the way to 36 grand and all the way back down to probably lower than two grand. So I don't have like a good kind of experience with cryptocurrency. But cryptocurrency is back in a big way. We've got Elon Musk tweeting about it. He's going crazy over Dogecoin. Tesla just bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin, right? So this stuff is currently going up and I thought it would be a fun video to see if we could trade it using technical signals, which is a thing that I've never done before. I don't know any patterns. I just see people putting crazy lines on graphs is about the height of my knowledge. So we're going to see how much we can learn over the next 24 hours. And instead of trading stocks, we're going to be trading cryptocurrency i have over here in my binance account 599 dollars of rogue coins and currency that i was able to pick up from my 2017 fiasco so we're here to redeem ourselves over the next 24 hours and see how much of that 36 thousand dollars we can make back so first things first we're going to look up some tutorials on YouTube, see how to read patterns, see what sort of altcoins are kind of pumping or dumping right now that we might be able to make some profits on. So for the next hour, so it's currently at 9.50 in the morning. So for the next hour to two hours, maybe even three hours, probably up until lunchtime, I'm not even going to make a trade. I'm going to be just studying YouTube videos, seeing what I can find out, and I'll come back and share that with you. And we'll see by the end of the day, maybe even into tomorrow, if we don't blow up this account, we'll see how much money we can make in a short space of time, starting with only $600 in our account. <laughs> videos and one of them in particular stood out to me it was very simple to understand he kind of gave me a couple of signals to watch out for and one in particular and i think i'm going to try this strategy right now there's obviously a lot more to learn i'm kind of getting an idea now for the binance app and understanding it i'm going to show you exactly what i'm going to do here in a second then we're going to take a look at the coin and make our first trade potentially here i've made a couple of notes on the video i got a steve bucks at the ready uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and show you exactly what we're doing. So I've opened up, I've actually downloaded the Binance app here. So I need to add a couple of things to our charts. I never understood any of these things before. I uh, still really don't. So what I'm going to do is add some things to this. So you click technical indicator up here. And the first one I've got in my notes is Bollinger Band. So we're going to add in a Bollinger Band and we're going to add them in. And you can see this comes up over the chart and we can see the Bollinger Bands. And then we're going to add another thing in called... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one, stochastic. So we can see the stochastic down here at the bottom. And essentially the indicator that we're looking for is, let's change the time over to five minutes here because that's what he was doing it on. So essentially what we're looking for in these five minute charts is whenever the price goes down here to the bottom and it hits the bottom Bollinger Band and also lines up, it's hit the bottom of the stochastic. So you see here, we would have entered this trade because it's at the bottom right here of the Bollinger Band, and it's also at the bottom of the Stochastic. And you see, if we had entered that trade right there, we would have made money. And his advice was to sell once you cross the middle Bollinger Band, which is this red line running through this right here. So we would have sold right here, and we would have made a little bit of profit. Again, I'm not sure how big a profit that would have been. We'll see here in a second once we enter some trades, but that is the strategy I'm going to be using here for these first couple of trades today. And there's a lot more that we should probably look into, like probably bankroll management, and probably, you know, how much should we be stacking over a count each bet, but this is a 24 hour challenge. We gotta make money quick. So let's dive in to some trades. Okay guys, so we are about to make our first trade here on EDA USDT. So we can see here, this is up at the top of the Bollinger Band right now, probably should've got in a couple of seconds ago. Uh, and we're up at the top here as well on the stochastic. So we're gonna drop and see if we can make it go through this middle Bollinger Band right here. So I'm going to margin sell $250 right here, 25% off my account, but it's pretty much half the account on the margin, but we're going to margin sell that. We're going to get charged interest on that. We understand that. So let's confirm. And let's see if our trade goes through. So I think we're now 
in the trade right here we can see we got in at this red line so now you can see this so i'm just going to watch this see where it goes over the next couple of minutes these are very very quick trades so again the whole like margin thing really complicates stuff when you have to like pay it back with different coins and all uh, i'll try and explain that a little bit later but We'll leave this for a couple of minutes here. See how this chart plays out. Okay, guys, so this has not went our way. It is blowing through this top Bollinger Band right now. I think we need to get out of this trade. So to get out, I believe what we need to do is now buy the same amount of Eddie uh, back that we borrowed to short sell it. Oh my God, this thing is running up. We went the wrong way on this. Let's get out of this quick. I think from this point on, let's take note of our account balance right here because I'm not sure 100% with what I started with earlier. Let's just write this number down on our notes right here. So that is $587.23. It's very confusing when you're selling these coins because you have to borrow the coins to sell them and then you have to buy them to buy them back. It's not just a simple trade of buy, sell, and you made or lost money. On the buy side, it should be a little bit simpler, I believe. Uh, but we'll see as we move on. This $100 here today was not profit in this challenge. That was before this challenge. I was just testing out the platform, randomly made 100 pounds or $100 there. So just ignore that one. Okay, guys so we just entered another trade here at 140.7 uh we did a margin trade this time of uh 50 of our account balance so we have like 800 dollars in this trade and then hopefully we'll see an upside and the reason why we did this is another indicator which is seen from another video essentially what that is whenever the stock lines here or the stock lines or the stock hats or whatever they're called when they cross outside of either you know the 25 percent downside or the 25 percent upside if they cross outside of that and it's in an uptrend then we should buy because it's going to go back up that is essentially thesis here on this trade so we'll see how it goes we'll wait it out here on a couple of these five minute candles uh, and see how we how we go so we're currently in one trade here on this we get in at what 140.7 but it seems like we're heading that other indicator right here of being at the bottom of uh, the bollingers and the bottom of James from the future here, uh, I can assure you that that was not the bottom of the Bullinger band. I'm just going to skip forward and going to cut out all this talking that I did right here and show you what happened. Things did not go so well. Okay, guys, so we got out of that trade and we did not do well. This thing went south very, very fast. Uh, I think we got a few more things to learn here uh no stop loss at all on that which definitely a problem let's check the account and see how much we lost <laughs> that did not go well one bit uh, oh no we're down to th oh my goodness boys we have took a fucking hit a hit oh no this is a problem Ooh, we're down from 587 dollars to 391 dollars in a minute Holy smokes, let's uh, ooh, let's jot that down. That's not good. That's not good at all. So 391.23, we got some macking up to do. And folks, this right here is why I normally stick with the stocks, you know? Like the tra trading is so easy just to lose so much money so quickly because you're so active. You're in a trade, out of a trade. Stocks, I just leave it there until it's in the green, right? Like. If it's a solid company, I know it's probably going to come back at some point. Going $200. I got a lot more homework to do. I've scheduled a call with one of my friends here. Talk through some stuff. So guys, we actually ended up making another trade here. And this one went a little bit better this time. So let me show you exactly what we did. We bought in at 524 with half of our account margined up. Uh, and ran right here again. We bought in at five, four nine five. So you can see this is the candle we bought in on at four or five two four. So we bought in like directly about here. The thing plummeted. Again, I was like, oh no, oh no, what is going on? And then I managed to buy in again at pretty much the bottom here of 495. So we bought in again because it hit the bottom of the Bollinger Band. It was down here uh, as well. So I thought it was bound to be some upside in this uh, at some point. And we did end up selling out on the way up. So we sold out at 520, 525, and 5. 20. now our account balance is actually up a little bit so if we go over to our wallet right here and we have right here 413 dollars in the account so we're up from 391 to 413 okay guys so this trade we have closed out about half of it at 121.8 i believe so 
a very very slight profit right here we got in at 121.27 so very very small profit on this one but hey uh, green is green uh we do still have half in the trade right here we're gonna try and get out about one two five and then i'm gonna take a break for looking at these charts for a minute i'm gonna go for a run clear the head here uh and then get back in there in this period of time it's now four o'clock so i've been doing this for you know quite a few hours now just looking at these graphs like seeing where it's going i mean we get into this trade here it went right down and we had to wait a long time to get back up uh again it's it could be stressful doing this like people who do this full time and you're playing with like some real money in there that shit could get scurry uh but yeah we'll come back and we'll get a run in get something to eat maybe and see where we go after dinner see if we can make some better money so guys it's now day two of the challenge it's around lunchtime on the second day and i'm going to trade for the next five or six or so we ended yesterday where i went for a run and was going to come back and place some trades but i ended up not doing that i just took the night off thought we'd come back tomorrow so it's now the next day and i've made one trade today so we're not doing too bad we've made a few dollars this morning nothing crazy but we made a few dollars so over here you can see we placed this trade on zill usdt we made a buy here at in around i believe 0.106 uh and then we made another buy at 0.1062 so we bought in uh in around the bottom of this dip here and again we were just following that strategy of the bullinger bands so we bought him at the bottom of the bullinger band right here uh and the bottom of the stochastic down here uh, and then we let it rip for a little bit i think i bought out in around here so on this trade we ended up making around seven dollars in total again nothing crazy but it's better starting the day with plus seven dollars than minus 200 so we're going to try and make a few trades here today see how much we can make up of yesterday's losses and hopefully bring us into some profits but we definitely should have let this one rip i didn't have total faith in my strategy right here i should have let this rip we're meant to sell once it crosses through the middle bullinger band right here so we should have got out in around 0.108 or so uh, and i got out at 0.107 and 0.1073 so we should just let it rip up still going up here and we could have made a little bit of money but we'll move on to the next trade so it's now about five hours since we made our first trade today and the results are in it's now probably like 28 hours or so since we started this challenge and i didn't want to go any further i've actually been enjoying my time trading over the past day or so however the gains have not been great today we've made quite a few trades i'm going to show you them right here we can see if we scroll through these are all my buys and sells some some of the coins that i got into most of them today I was shorting them so i was seeing that they were hitting the top of the bollinger bands and i was shorting them and pretty much all of the trades today were successful none of them really went ahead and lost any money i think on one of the trades we lost 50 cents however on these gains we didn't make much at all and i'm looking at this and i'm kind of thinking to myself how on earth did i lose 200 dollars in one trade yesterday and i think what it was was yesterday on what is that wednesday the 10th everything kind of crashed at about 3 30 uk time in the stock market also in crypto there was like a big crash yesterday it was kind of just random don't think anyone really knows what happened or what caused it but that happened yesterday and i think that's when we were maybe in that trade that lost us 200 dollars. the problem there was well we didn't have any stop losses on that's one thing that i've learned i need to have stop losses i need to learn how to set them i didn't set any today we didn't need them fortunately enough but definitely need to have stop losses on so obviously this is my first time ever really trading and learning anything i pretty much stuck to the strategy of the bullinger bands and the stochastic rsi thing down at the bottom and today for me that worked pretty well but we had no massive gains some of the trades we got into were pretty successful we were doing well however i feel like i didn't have faith in the trade and i ended up pulling out too early however pulling out too early you can't go wrong with that we took home some profits so what were today's results how much money have we made well let's head over to our account you can kind of look through these trades if you want you can pause the video here take a look at them uh, but pretty much all of them are profitable we were mainly trading bigger coins today with more volume i was watching a lot more videos and, and going through kind of learning more about this and realizing that yesterday i was probably trading coins that just didn't have enough volume and stuff like that so let's head into our wallet over here so into our margin account and check the stats 
we've ended up this challenge with $460.30. I believe we started at $586 or so. So we're down about $124. That one huge loss yesterday pretty much ruined this whole challenge for me. And it really taught me a lesson. I'm kind of glad that this video didn't go the kind of opposite way where I just made maybe double my money or triple my money in a day because I think it gives a wrong perception for some of you guys out there. And that's why I'm happy to upload this video and share it with you because I'm someone who's into this for one day. I shouldn't make money. That is not how this should work. And I think people who get in and lose money at the start are probably going to take it more seriously. They're going to learn more. They're going to go and figure out why they lost money. They're going to set stop losses because if you lose big, that's when you really learn. It's happened with me in the stock market. I've took advice on stocks from random people and didn't do my own research and lost my ass on it. And ever since then, I do my damn research, right? So there's learning lessons that come from losing money. And that's exactly what's happened to me here with this. I've actually enjoyed doing this. It's actually been a lot of fun. It's something that I kind of like doing. I've always wanted to try trading. So what I do want to do is ask you guys, did you enjoy it? And I also want to know, what could I have done better? What should I learn here? And I would love to do a video where I do this over seven days. One of the biggest things I think I've done wrong over this challenge is I'm trading on way too small of a time frame, And I think a lot of that comes from I'm creating this video and I'm trying to get content. I'm trying to make trades to make the video more exciting rather than waiting for the perfect setup and making trades like I probably should. I believe if we were doing this, you know, I'm making trades and I feel like, you know, I'm watching these five minute candles. It's actually doing pretty well. But then I go, I sell out of it and I made like $3 and I'm on 3x margin. 100% of my account is in there and I'm risking $1,300 or my $400, $500 in the account for a $7 gain. I watched trading videos in the past and I've heard you should probably be putting in like, what, 1% of your account each trade. If I put in 1% of my account each trade, I'm probably gonna make like three cents on a good trade. And most people who are starting out and like want to trade and want to make money, they've probably only got $1,000, maybe $500 to start with. They don't have 10K, they don't have 30K to put in their trading account. So. I'm kind of confused on that a little bit. I've watched some videos where people are like putting on $100 and it goes up a little bit and they make back 300 and I'm like, how are you doing that? Like what sort of margin levels do you have? And that's something I don't really understand. So I'd love for you guys to share videos with me or just some information down below on that and how I can kind of work with that a little better. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. We took that big hit at the start, but after that it was pretty much smooth sailing just the profits aren't that big, right? Maybe we just need a bigger bankroll. But, you know, making what, what did we make today? So today we started with 425. We're up like 30 something dollars. I did this from about one o'clock to six o'clock. So $30 in what, five hours, second day trading. Nothing crazy, but it's profit and it's a learning experience and I've had fun making this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, let me know. I'd like to make a seven day trading video. I'm probably also gonna do this, but do it with stocks and see if we can do any different over there. And if you guys wanna check out Binance, you wanna set up an account, get into crypto, I'll leave my referral link down below so you can check that out. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.